hello my lovely people welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video we are still on the gist from the palace of only of ife allegedly they said only of ife's daughter princess adiola i don't know if you know princess adiola uh, she is the first daughter of the king although i don't think the king is marrying her mother i don't know some said uh, the king uh, give her mother pregnant while he was still young, you know. Considering Prince uh, at their last age, one would believe what we heard allegedly, you know. So, and one thing is certain: only of Ife loves Adiola so so much, so much. And when we uh, we got married to the king, uh, a lot of people used to see uh, Adiola and. Uh, when Naomi as sisters because they cooperate so well as in they cooperate very well such that uh, when princess uh, when Queen Naomi left the palace it really affected Diola's visit to the palace because uh, she hardly visits these days especially when she involved herself in the matter between her husband uh, uh, Queen Naomi and the, the king there was a time he told her father that, look, if you don't make up with Queen Naomi, I am not going to return back to the palace. Because the fact that Prince Tadenikawo is growing outside the palace is really affecting uh, Diola because she loves Prince Tadenikawo so, so well, like a younger brother. So, uh, from what we heard, they said there was a time Oni was begging her to please return back home because it's been long that she visited. Even to the point they said someone wanted to marry her and she don't want to come and introduce the person to her father because of the marriage saga. Why the, how the king is marrying so many women and all of that. And it got to a point where they said a lot of people started advising her to you know, stop talking about anything that has to do with her father's marriage. That she should allow her husband this and that. I saw not her husband, her father. But we do know that uh, there is love between these two, you know, and there is no how the Allah will keep quiet completely about uh, Oni's marriage and everything that is happening in his life. And right now, she understands she's a woman and she knows what it means for a man to be going through kind of a emotional stress and all of that and it is not good for her father and she cares so much for her father so right now they said Diola have uh, come back to tell the wives to leave uh, the palace for the sake of Prince Tade Nikawo that the king who wanted them to leave is not doing it because he hates them and he's not doing it because he doesn't want them around him but he is doing it because of Prince Tade Nikawo. And they know that Prince Tade Nikawo is the only son that he has, you know. And right now, uh, Prince Tade Nikawo's outside, as in his absence in the palace, is really affecting his father. So according to the information reaching us, they said, Diola have begged the wives, telling them that uh, they should try to put uh, her father's uh, emotion or her father's uh, uh, interest into consideration because this is not all about uh, that if they claim that they love the, the father they should do anything that will make him to live long and to have happiness and um, that is the allowing the only son that he has to grow in his presence to grow in his palace this is something that uh, he has been begging them and now that he have given it as an order, they should try as much as possible to obey him. After all, he remains the king, you know. So they said the Allah wasn't happy with the way the wives are going about leaving the palace and not leaving the palace. That the king is not doing this thing for his own selfish interest. He is doing it for the sake of uh, Prince Tade Nikawo. Because Queen Naomi have made it clear that there is nothing that would make her bring back her only son to the palace for any reason why the wife said we are there because she know what she suffered in their hands she know how they bullied her how they did everything to say that she left the palace for them so what on earth will make her to bring prince tadenikawo back in that palace even though why even though the king is trying to convince her that uh, look oh, your security is assured you don't have any problem nothing will happen to my son and all of that but she is playing safe 
and no one will judge her for doing that because she have every reason to uh, put her son's safety first before anything and considering the kind of women in that palace women who can disobey the king who women who can uh, uh, flaunt uh, who can uh, 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 not respect their husband when the king say do this they will do the way they want and the king cannot do anything about it and you expect Kwenomi to bring back Prince Tadenika in such an environment that even if they do or try anything the king cannot stand up to uh, challenge them or tell them that if you do this again, you leave. They cannot leave. They cannot leave unless they decide to do that. So on that note, Quenomi decides to, you know, stay outside and raise her child. In as much as the king really wants to partake or be fully part of his son's growth, he really wants them as of the fellas for the sake of Prince Tadenikao. And that is why they said Diola have come out to tell them that, look, oh, you people don't love my father because if you do, you will put his interest into consideration. You will know that uh, he really wants his son to, to be grown as and to be raised by him. He doesn't want another man to raise his son. Even though a lot of people are saying at this point that Kwenomi, I don't think she still have the intention of uh, remarrying. Because at the time, it looks as if she's quiet over uh, uh, insisting that the king will free her so that she'll continue with her life right now the as in how uh, the, the way she is right now is anything that i don't know i don't know even if the king don't want to release her there was a time she was agitating angrily that the king should release her and all of that i don't know maybe god have told her that look oh, you are not going anywhere this is your place and many prophetess and prophets have also told her that your mission in the palace have not finished maybe you are there to raise that child and you are not to, uh, to raise her with another man you know, and that maybe that's why she was she became quiet all of a sudden, over leaving the all over leaving the king, the marriage and all of that. Now she have agreed that she will return back to the palace. It is the women who are still keeping her outside because they refuse to leave the palace for her and Prince Tadenikawa to return back to the palace. And that is what the king is fighting right now. And that is what exactly uh, Princess Diola is trying to achieve. Let's just hope and pray that at the end of the day that uh, they might listen to her. That is if it is possible because to me, I don't see the possibility. The only thing that will make those women to leave that palace is when only of Ife apply force. And a lot of people are telling him that you cannot apply force because the women have not done anything to you. They have done a lot of things from what we are hearing allegedly. <laughs> So unless those things that we're hearing are not true, if not, they have done enough for the king to say, uh, leave the palace. So guys, that's the gist to, I wanted to share it with you, okay? Thanks for watching. Don't forget that they're all alleged information because I do not live in the palace, okay? Always bear that in mind. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel if you're here to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Give this video a thumbs up and share it. My God will bless you. Bye for now. Love you guys.